Hey everybody, David Lemon here, and in this video I'm going to tell you about the changes for Groove Pages. There was a couple of things that we added, improved, and a bunch of stuff that we fixed. So I just wanted to let you know so you are aware. Let's start with the first things, the features that we added. So if you click on a button or a link or anywhere basically where you can link something, um, you'll see this configuration options and the link mode we added on a couple of weeks ago, it was, uh, it was added we have now quick pop-ups. Quick pop-ups were done uh, previously for pages, blocks, URLs, blogs, cars, and things like that. We are going to be tidying that up a little bit. We are going to uh, be leaving URL and page because these are go going to be the most used options. But we have added Groove Mail form and Groove Cell checkout into the list. We are going to be adding in Groove uh, Video video players and Groove webinar registration forms and things like that uh, soon, but we added now Groove mail form and Groove cell checkout forms. So just to show you how it looks like, you select a form, you can now go and select the actual Groove mail forms that you have here, and then uh, you can set up a thank you redirect link or what you want to have after somebody filled out the form. In case you already set up the redirect, uh, the success URL, for example, inside Groove Mail, you don't necessarily need to set it up from here, but you can to override it. Anyway, once you've done that, you click the update button and then let's just check out how it's going to look like. I believe I did uh, that already before. So it's going to just very quickly open up uh, a form like this one. Very soon we'll have customization options for the form. So you can change the colors, change the sizing, change the fonts, change the borders, change everything on it. And that's coming real soon. All right, moving on. Uh, we had the same for group cell checkout forms. So basically this, this just shows up a group cell checkout. So it works the same way. Let's just select quick pop-ups and here group cell checkout and we'll select the checkout page and then we select the funnel, we select the product, we select the, the actual checkout form that we created and once you're done you click the update button. Now after publishing you, wish, you should see a pop-up with the actual form that you selected here. Real quick, real simple, no need to go into the pop-ups and then embed it and then all sorts of different things. Uh, quick pop-ups are here for you. All right, moving on, we have a couple other changes that we did for the uh, for the color picker. So if you click on the on a on, on something on any element in Groove Pages, you can see the color picker has changed and uh, visually not much has changed. We have set up the default uh, to be shown the hex code here. So you can em enter your hex code inside here. But what we added on is the recently used colors. For example, if I click on this one, all right, and if I close it and come back, we now you have these last used colors which are showing up so that you can reuse them later on for other elements. Like for example, I want to come and, and add this button to have the same color as the other one. I'm going to just come here and that's basically it. So real quick, just using the last last used colors. I need to mention that whenever you now uh, save and reload your browser, the saved colors won't be there anymore. We are doing this for optimization so that the the builder is is remaining fast so that we don't save these colors for a long time uh, because that adds up and that would slow down the system a little bit. So now we are saving the last used colors until you reload the page. All right. Moving on, we have added the new color picker for the text editor as well. Like, for example, you select a piece of text. We now have the same color editor or the color picker with your last used colors that you used in the style editor. So now you have the, the same colors that you can use and you basically click the checkbox or the check mark and now you can use the same colors on text as well. All right, so these were the new features that we added. Let's move on to the improvements. Uh, we now have sorting of templates by last created. So whenever you go and add a new page, we now have the sorting of templates by the last created. So if you want the freshest templates on here, you can now see the ones that were that were created last. With a new template library, it's going to be uh, the same, but we are going to be uh, we're going to be uh, categorizing the the templates a little bit different. So these are the last templates that we created in this template library. All right, when you are adding a video, which I don't think I have right now, so let's just go into an elements, 
uh, the elements drawer set up a video player over here so when you're setting up a video and select groove video we increase the groove video uh, number of videos that show over here to 20 previously i believe it was five or ten maybe but now we are showing uh, 20 videos so that you can select them over here it will take a little bit more time to load in here but uh, but now we are showing 20 videos so that you don't have to search for them specifically you can just real quick uh, click inside over here and you'll have the 20 videos in case you want more then you can click on here more and then search for them all right but by default we are we are showing you the 20 over here uh, changing the switch color in the countdown timer style so it matches the regular switches we're using all right so let's just say that this is my countdown timer and I am selecting it over here if I select one of these elements that I can style now we had previously added this switch that applies the style to all of the of the elements and now we have just changed the colors a little bit so it matches the styling of the other menu items inside the groove pages uh, cleanup of integration elements this is another thing on the list we have been working on these elements and inside the elements drawer we, previously we had a lot of these elements that were integrations integrations with mailchimp and and okay active campaign aweber and the other ones those are not needed because those are really just forms so now you can use forms and connect them to groove mail and had integrations that way or you can build your your forms uh using the form elements over here and just integrate with with uh, Averber or Active Campaign or the other ones. So those integration elements weren't needed anymore. We still have a couple, which one is uh, Kajabi over here. This is an external integration that is still left, but we won't be using those in the future because everything is going to be connected directly to Groove Mail uh, from starting very soon, as soon as our activity logs are available. All right. So there is a couple of fixes that were done. Uh, I will not go over them. A lot of you guys that reported it will understand what those are, but there was just, I'm just going to read it out. So there was a, a with issue when you were setting up something with a with, then there was a default, uh, default switch. It was a bug that switched basically to the parent with all the time. So isometric patterns, the slider weren't, wasn't working when you were setting the, the patterns and then the transparency and then the, the, the busyness of the patterns weren't adjusting properly. Missing pattern properties on a clone page. When you applied uh, patterns on the background or uh, background of your block and you clone that page those patterns weren't showing on the clone cloned page uh, when you created a pop-up in a button there is an option to have the the button close the pop-up that functionality that setting to close the pop-up wasn't working now that's fixed as well the logic of cleaning the HTML code published to live so it won't contain data or classes we only use for building purposes. This is just a internal backend fix that when you are publishing the publishing the website, it does not include all of the, I just call it junk files that are not needed that were created while we were creating your uh, your pages to be published. All right, so this is just the backend stuff. So this was fixed as well. Drag handles were missing on the embed code element. I'm just going to display or just show this one because it, it's useful. Previously, when we had a code embed element somewhere over here and you wanted to drag it over to, to somewhere else, this move this drag handle uh, option wasn't showing now it's now it's back and we have fixed on many 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 bugs and warnings that were generated by a lot of new improvements that we added to groove pages recently so now 90% uh, of those bugs and warnings are not showing anymore so the warnings were showing up here when you were publishing or when you were changing something and saving then there was all sorts of different warning messages coming over here in the in the corner now that is uh, the majority of those things are fixed all right so that's it basically for this release we have done a, a lot of bug fixes a couple of improvements a couple of new cool things that we added we are preparing a bunch more stuff to come in the couple of uh, the next couple of days so stay tuned bye for now